Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, Master Kira here coming to you from the dojo with some exciting news. Uh, we want to let you know that we are preparing once again to have students back here in our amazing dojo. So that being said, I want to make a quick video and show everybody what our drop off and pickup procedure will look like. I know some of you guys are old pros, but we want to make sure um, we have a little review for those of us who uh, may have had a little memory lapse like me. I can't remember anything. So. That being said, let's get to it. I want to let everyone know what our drop-off and pickup procedure will look like for our students who will be doing in-person training here at the dojo. So, first of all, this is drop-off and pickup. Uh, there's no need for any parents to get out of the car. Um, new students might be the exception, but other than that, feel free to drop the kids off and pick them up. They're in safe hands. Um, so, drop-off will be right here at our front door. I'll take a little tour here for you. Right here outside Tacos del Norte, we have a real nice area where we can just simply drop off. Again, no need to go out here and park. There's gonna be plenty of restaurant traffic happening and uh, we will make sure that we keep this front area clear. I'm gonna set up some cones here for us so make sure no one uh, does any parking for their taco pickup. But again, all you guys need to do is drive down here, boom drop them off. Now once uh, students are here at the door, we're gonna do all their temperature and their check-in. Gonna make sure that they're symptom free and then we're gonna give them a temperature check. So that being said, once we know kiddos are good, we will stick our thumbs out here in the parking lot, let you know that the kids are good. And uh, then you guys can go on your merry way, do some shopping, uh, take a rest, whatever you need to do. Uh, hang out in the back and uh, hook up to the Wi-Fi. You are more than welcome to um, watch the classes on Zoom if you would like. Uh, but again, drop off will be right here, outside. No need to get out of the car. We will greet our awesome students at the door with a symptom check and a temperature check. So all of our students and our instructors are temp checked when they come in the studio. We will take note of everything accordingly. Um, so in case there should be any COVID, uh, we would be able to trace all of that stuff back. So fingers crossed, no COVID here. Uh, again, hey, that's a good point. If you're feeling any sort of symptoms of the COVID, please, uh, please feel free to train virtually. Uh, keep us as safe as possible as we reopen. We do not want to have to close again, please, please. Um, that being said, temp check, record. We shall do hand sanitization. We are prepared here at LZFMA to sanitize the hands or kids will go in the bath or students will go in the bathroom to wash their hands. Um, but that will happen before class. And we will be lining up for our class in the hallway, socially distanced apart. So everybody's got floor marking to stand on and a number to be under. And of course, you guys know we are limited to 10 students per class, 10 students maximum per class for the time being so we can stay nice and far apart and do as much uh, as little mixing as possible after that students will as always put their shoes and boots and all that stuff on the shoe rack big shout out for uh wellies or slip on crocs anything that's easy on and easy off is greatly appreciated by our instructors here at the dojo. We're doing quick flip in between classes. Got a lot of sanitization to do and such. Um, we don't mind helping with shoes, but we just don't have that much time on our hands. So any quick on, quick off shoes, quick on, quick off coats, greatly, greatly appreciated. And again, students will put their coats and their shoes here. And these will be moved to the back of the studio because students will be leaving out of the back of the studio. We're getting there now. So just a heads up, drop off in the front, pick up in the back. After that, students will come through the hallway and with their instructor, make their way to the classroom. Just want to give a shout out to Ninja Classroom and Taekwondo Classroom and sometimes the fitness room. Again, all the classes are staggered. So um, when, when one class of students goes into their classroom, there'll be a 15 minute gap before the next class is allowed to come in. So we will not have any mixing or congregating in the hallways. Um, and in case I didn't mention, and you haven't noticed, masks. Masks are a must. If there's any medical issues or concerns, please let us know. But other than that, everyone will be in masks. 
And we know hydration is important, but we will not be sharing the water fountain at this time. So if you'd like to bring a bottle of water, if it's absolutely necessary, bring it here. Just don't forget it here. It'll be in lost and found. So that brings us to our class time in our classrooms. And then once students are finished with class, they will get a nice spritz of hand sanitizer at the door, boom, after they've cleaned any of their um, protective gear, any of their shin gears, hand gears, uh, they'll also clean, help us clean up some of the equipment that we've used in class, and everything will be nice and clean once again as we wrap up class. And then students will proceed to the back door. Their shoes will be moved to the shelves, so will the coats. And you see we've got the benches nice and spread out, again, for social dis distancing for pickup. And pickup will happen here at the back door of the dojo. This is the back parking lot. <clears throat> this is behind Tacos El Norte if you haven't been here. And it looks a little something like this. So again, all the cars will park right here. Our instructors are now um, also traffic masters, black belt traffic control, of course. <clears throat> All the parents will line up here in the back. Again, no need to get out of your car. It's super cold anyways. Um, we're going to do our best to keep traffic rolling all the way through this parking lot. Uh, tacos knows, hairdresser knows, pizza place knows that um, this is how traffic will be rolling through the parking lot again. So they're all prepared and we're all prepared and um, we're just... Uh, we're going to be as patient as possible. We know sometimes there's a traffic backup. Sometimes you might uh, you might not get there exactly on time. Might be stuck in the middle of uh, so another class exiting. So thank you for your patience with this. We really appreciate it. We'd really like you guys to stay in your cars so we can send the students out. Now we know some of these kiddos got to get buckled in. We totally understand. Don't worry. But when you pick your students up in the back, what you can do, we can put them in the car and just mosey on up uh, by the by the pizza joint there's plenty of space in that parking lot to do any buckling up and that way we can keep our traffic rolling again we are not perfect at this we are black belts in martial arts before traffic control so we appreciate your patience we will work out any bugs or kinks in this plan as as they kind of come up so thank you everyone for your success in the drop off and pick up back in the summer when we were doing this and now we're starting it once again we're going to get back in practice again and be ready to rock for in-person training. Yeah, tier two. We're super excited to be back. Should you have any questions or concerns about this drop-off pickup procedure, cleaning procedures, any other um, procedures that we're taking care of right now, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, our email is lakezerkfamilymartialarts at gmail.com. Phone number is 847-726-2278. And that phone number takes phone calls and text messages all of the time. So if you need to get in touch, please do. We, we like talking to, uh, to all of our students and our families because we don't get to see everybody all the time quite anymore. So please get in touch should you need it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That wraps up my drop-off pickup video. Hope you have enjoyed the show and uh, you are informed on what will be going down when we get back in person here at the studio. Thanks, everybody. Shout out, LZ, hashtag LGFMA.